What's good with YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new reaction video for you guys today. Now, my boy Nate actually told me that I should start reacting to these videos. Uh, the creator is T Timeless Tim, and this video was the most recent video he dropped. It was two days ago, actually. So this is my first time reacting to a Timeless Tim video. So please, uh, you guys educate me over me starting to react to these videos. Like I'm learning just the beginning for me. So if I don't know anything or, you know, certain things like that, don't get on my head in the comments. Okay. We're going to grow together and we are going to react to Timeless Tim videos. This one is called the death of my little brother. This one definitely does hit home for me. Uh, already just off of the title. I did lose a little brother to COVID. As you guys know, that's actually the tattoo that you guys see right here, the face on my hand. That's my little brother. And, um, yeah, this is a crazy first time of some video to react to, but Hey, let's check it out. Original video always be in the description down below. And I do like that. These are animated videos from what I was seeing. So I'm interested in these as well. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on that way. You don't miss any of the uploads. And without further ado, let's check out time with Sim, baby. Let's go. Nothing in this world hurts than losing a loved one. See, we all born with a gift of life, but at the same time cursed with the kiss of death. Just think about it. If you had to choose between these two options, which would you choose? Would you rather know the day you'll die or know how you die? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, 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 okay. This is uh, kind of crazy, and I'm just sitting here thinking like... um. I'm sitting here thinking, like, which would I choose out of those two? How you go or or when you go? I almost want to say when. Yeah, yeah, when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That would be too scary. That would be too scary. I don't know, bro. That's tough. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Man who lives is fully prepared to die at any time. Bullshit. I don't want to die. I don't know about you, but dying is one of my biggest fears in life. Me he too. Me the unknown. Reason why people lean to his religion. Well, what if you grow up a certain religion, then after death you find out God's not with that religion, or you do some bad in the world. You die, you come back reincarnated as a roach. I'm terrific. Then there's the concept no one accepts. What if after life there's nothing from dust? That. Oh my gosh. I bro. Th this is the first. Not even one minute of this and this topic, everything already in this is just hitting home for me. It's kind of like insane that this is my first time in the sim video. Like, I be thinking that, like, what if it's nothing? Like, there's so many possibilities that we'll never know the answer to. Bro. You came and to dust you shall return. And that, my God, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take you back, back to the day I saw death. So this story happens during a couple stages in my life. First, you know my homie Ruffus, the kid that always got me in trouble. See, Ruffus was my more like my brother. You have to understand, Ruffus was a troubled child. He grew up in a foster home. <laughs> I used to parents, be getting my, I used to be getting my ass for being a bad kid. True definition of a troubled kid. And just like most abused kids, I still remember the day Ruffus decided to run away from home. What the? Yo, damn, damn. Hey, what's up, kid? I came to say goodbye. What? Where you going? I don't know, fam, but I can't stay here anymore. Stay with us. Nah, I can't. Hey, Tim, yeah? Thanks for being my friend. Nah, we brothers for life, dog. See you later, brother. And just like that, Ruffus ran away from home and never went back. You can see the emotion in his eyes, too. Stay in touch through the years. Yo, Ruffus, this ride is clean, dog. You want to ride? You bet. You still reading those books and shit? Yeah, I'm in college now, bro. Oh, you was always in square. So, so, Ru so Ruffus grew up then, okay. You trying to hit this party tonight? He did good for it, so. a lot of shorties. I don't want a homie say shorties. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go crazy there. Hold on, hold on. I wouldn't have mind. <laughs> All right, now this, I wouldn't want to be in this situation. Ah, I wish, but I got to study for my finals. All right, Einstein. Be back in an hour. I'll bring you back some bitches. Boy, you crazy. I'll be right back. So Ruffles leaves the crib <laughs> and I get back to study. So an hour goes by. I look out the window. Ruffles hasn't returned. Damn. I thought Ruffles said an hour. Then two hours go by. Still haven't heard a word from Ruffles. Man, I gotta go. Ruffles said he's gonna be here on time. Oh, shit. Then three whole hours go by. Something's not right. 
So I'm watching the local news, and then something got my attention. See, on the news was a car that looked a little familiar. Hold up, is that Ruffles car? So I picked up the phone, called a homie. Come on, kid, pick up. But the phone kept ringing. Damn, ringing. this is like the no worst. Answering. Bro, <laughs> this, is a, this is a horrible feeling because I obviously, I had this experience too, bro. <laughs> like, this is God, crazy. Don't let this be Ruffles. And then I got the phone call that changed my life forever. Hello? This is Hope Medical Hospital. Am I speaking with Tim? And from that moment on, my world went dark. I couldn't hear a thing. Nothing but my heart beating faster and faster and faster. Hello? Tim? Are you there? Come to the hospital. So I get to the hospital, and from the look on everyone's face, I knew this was bad. Ruffles was in emergency <laughs> surgery, so we started the way. Then the minutes became hours. And finally, Ruffles made it out of surgery. Doc, is my friend going to be okay? Sorry, son. At this point, it's all up to him. <laughs> it's crazy that the doctor... I'm trying to find something to laugh about. <laughs> it's crazy that the doctor is white with a black voice. <laughs> I see him? Not right now. So I went home the next day. They finally let me see my brother. Okay, Tim, hold it together. Don't let him see you, sad. So I opened the door, looked inside, and what I saw destroyed. Me. My brother was laying in the bed, looking lifeless. The only thing keeping him alive was the breathing machines. Okay, tell him, be cool. So I got next to him, touched his hand, and had a moment with my brother. Hey, bro, I'm here for you. I know you're going to make it through. You're the toughest man I know. We're all rooting for you, brother. And with tears coming down my eyes, I got down on my knees, and for the first time in a very long time, I said a prayer. For the God... I humbly come before you. I know I'm not righteous, but if you could please hear me one last time, if you could please save my friend. I know he's not perfect, but he's a good man, and this good man needs your healing. And then suddenly, I could feel Ruffus' hand move. Ruffus, you there? And then his arm let go. Come on, bro. Don't let go. Damn. Come on, fam. Then something deep inside me felt it. Ruffus was giving me his last words, his last goodbye. And from that moment forward, I knew my brother was gone. So I walked outside with tears coming down my face, just wishing I could have one more day with my brother. This shit is deep. So for me to you, tomorrow is never promised. So love and appreciate the people in your life. Make Thanks. that phone call. Write that letter. Have that conversation. Show them how much you really care for them. Because I never got to say goodbye to my brother. His last words haunt me till this day. I'll be right back. So Ruffus, I'm still waiting, buddy. And if you're up there, may you rest in heaven, young king. And I hope to see you one day. So, moral of the story the worst goodbyes are the ones never said but always remember never forget yesterday but always live for today because i like the message in this is powerful as fuck take bro. away like this is this well, is Tim, some good animated content i don't know dog you i don't know bro what if this is heaven what you mean hear me out family friends loved ones what more could a person ask for yeah i feel you dog Baby, this hey, they got that classic Tupac in the background. <laughs> it's not the same instrumental, so of course, but his final words from Steve Jobs' deathbed. I reached the pinnacle of success in this business world. In others' eyes, my life is the epitome of success. However, aside from work, I have little joy. In the end, my wealth is the only fact of life that I am accustomed to. If I hope this ain't copyrighted. On my bed and recalling my life, I realized that all the recognition and wealth that I took so much pride in have paled and become meaningless in the face of my death. You can employ someone to drive a car for you, make money for you, but you cannot have someone bear your sickness for you. Material things lost can be found and replaced, but there's only one thing that can never be found when it's lost. Life. Whichever stage in life you're in right now, with time, you will face the day when the curtain falls. Treasure the love of your family love for your spouse love for your friends treat yourself well and cherish others as we all grow older and hopefully wiser we realize that a three thousand or a thirty dollar watch both tell the same time you realize <laughs> that your true inner happiness does not come from material things of this world 
Whether you fly first class or economy, if the plane goes down, you go down with it. Therefore, I hope you realize when you have mates, buddies and old friends, brothers and sisters who you chat with, laugh with, talk with, sing with, talk about north, south, east, west or heaven and earth, that is true happiness. Don't educate your children to be rich. Educate them to be happy. So when they grow up, they will know the true value of things and not the price. Bro, he is just going in and in and in and on this message. Like this, this, this is a powerful message, bro. Like what? Eat your food as your medicine. I, this is not what I was you expecting. Have to eat the medicine as your food. The ones you love will never leave you for another one. Because even if there's a hundred reasons to give up, he or she will find a way to hold on. There's a big difference between a human being and being human. Only a few really understand it. You are loved when you're born. You are beloved when you die. In between, you have to manage. The six best doctors in the world are sunlight, rest, exercise, diet, self-confidence, and friends. Maintain them in all stages and enjoy a healthy life. This is not what I was expecting for a Timeless Tim video, especially seeing this thumbnail right here. Him about to grab some titties and shit. Like, <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. That is... That was great content. I really enjoyed that. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about this. And uh, uh, I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves as well, especially since we were just uh, listening to the things he was just saying. Yeah, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves and enjoying your loved ones close to you and everything like that. Um, original video is in the description down below. Thank you guys for the continued support. I will see you guys in the next one, baby. We are out. Peace.